I'm starting with this macro because it is a very important macro for many of your applications. It works in blank applications, the calendar application, chart applications, grid, search, forms, control forms, menu, tree menu, report, PDF applications, and of course, I would think already or soon, the new menu. <music> This macro is very important for when you develop applications with the form application. In general, you do not need to make any adjustments, but if you add further code to your applications where on validate you process data, insert data into other tables, on after insert, or at any of these other stages, you are processing other data then you want to be sure to use and know this macro. And that macro is the SC underscore commit underscore trans. Okay, and we can just let then add our open and close brackets there. And just like that, we commit the transaction to our database. Now in a form application, we can use this within the various events such as on after insert, on after update, on after delete or on before. And for each of these transactions, the event is then done by script case. The connection can also be provided here within this macro. And we can include that there just by adding then the connection name. Whatever that name is that you have decided or added here within your databases. If you are not sure, you can always click the database, open the database connection, and you will see here the name of the connection. And just like that, you will commit your transactions for your applications after whatever you have processed. And before, of course, you want to redirect your user to another application. Now, generally before redirection, everything is processed. But in many cases, you redirect those applications to another application that could well be the menu application, or it could also be another grid application. And you then want to ensure before each and every redirection that you add and commit your transaction using the SC commit trans. Now with the optional parameter, you can then of course customize the type of connection or connection that you have applied to your project. So be sure that you apply this macro within your own applications because of course, it is there to help you and speed up your development within Scriptcase. So I hope that helps you. And if you don't remember to redirect your applications after you've processed something, then maybe you don't need to redirect it. Well, that's entirely up to you, of course. Just a little joke there, but yes. If you want to redirect, be sure to commit that transaction. Very important there and an awesome great macro to be starting the series with, I would think. <laughs>